You're very welcome to this webinar about a Master of Science in Design and Innovation starting in September 2020 in the Galway Mayo Institute of Technology. My name is Gabriel J. Costello and I'll, today I'll talk about the Masters which is concerned with innovation in products, services and processes. The agenda for the uh, webinar will first of all deal with the need for this Masters, um, how we went uh, about designing it and the consultation process we went through, the benefits of doing uh, the Masters to yourself and to your organization, the content of the Masters, how it will be delivered, the entry requirements, and finally, a Q&A. Our motivation for designing the Masters was initially driven by a number of national needs uh, indicated in important reports such as the Winning by Design report and the National Planning Framework Project Ireland 2040, which identified uh, the need for design and innovation skills. A very recent report by the expert Group for Future Skills forecasts a significant need for digital product and strategic design skills over the next five years. In the regional context, the Northern and Western Region Assembly have put research, development and innovation as a top priority. It's also in the context of the European Union, which have set their ambition to become an innovation union. Now I'll talk about the consultation process uh, that we went through in developing the Masters. It consisted of two areas, the academic area and talking to people in the services uh, industry and public sectors. Uh, first of all, the academic area, it was inspired by the work that's going on in the Institute of Design at Stamford to the whole design thinking movement. Um, that has been managed by a sugar network out of the University of St. Gallen, which is gathering uh, third level uh, institutes around the world and promoting design thinking. Uh, the other area was my own teaching experience in product design development, which I base um, uh, significantly on the work of Stephen Epicher in MIT. The second area we did was we walk, went out and talked to people in industry. Uh, for example, IBM, who have over a thousand designers uh, and they see themselves as a, not just a product organization, but a service organization. Um, other companies we talked to was Thermo King, Qualtech, Avaya and in the medtech area, Proverum. Yeah. Spent some time talking to the IDA who have identified the leadership in the area of design and innovation as a very important uh, for the country going forward. So to summarize our feedback, uh, we started with design thinking, but the emphasis was not just on thinking, but on doing. So design and innovation is what we called um, uh, the masters. Um, An important consideration is the benefits of doing a master's in design and innovation for both yourself and your organization. An example I've used here is an independent report that IBM commissioned by uh, Forrester uh, to look at what the benefits of their large investment in the area. Um, so they had, there's three infographics there that indicate faster time to market by two, a third reduction in development time, and a 300% return on investment impact. We're living in challenging times, but times that have many opportunities for design and innovation, right across business, but the whole of society. Um, as Professor Samuel McConkey uh, opinioned lately, that the economy, the future economy uh, of the post COVID era will have lots of opportunities for innovation. The Masters in Design and Innovation has been designed for working professionals. It involves blending learning approaches, 
100% project-based and team-based learning, working on real pro life projects, very much deliverable driven. And for specialized topics, we'll invite in guest speakers. You'll be on site every second Saturday in GMIT. This will involve working on projects in your sub teams. Weekly online lectures will be held, which you can join in or watch later as they'll be recorded. In terms of time in GMIT, it involves about four hours in uh, Saturday morning uh, in semester one, five hours in semester two. In semester three, that'll be down to three hours on the innovation project. And the individual dissertation will be work-based using action research, and you will have an individual supervisor. Now I'll present some detail on the content, uh, the academic content of the Masters in Design and Innovation. It will be held over two academic years and four semesters. The first semesters will have two modules, Applied Design Thinking and Product and Process Development. This follows the uh, lays the groundwork for the uh, Masters and uh, the Applied Design Thinking is based on the Stanford uh, model on design thinking and the product and service processes will look at bringing ideas uh, to a prototype stage uh, very much based on the uh, MIT models in that case. Semester two will start with research methods uh, module, uh, which will lay the groundwork for the dissertation the following year. Um, it will also involve a major team-based design innovation project, which will span between semester two and semester three. Students in this project uh, will work on teams and develop an idea right through the various stages um, it's based on the Stanford ME310 module, uh, which is used widely in Stanford and in other uh, institutes around the world. Um, in the final year, uh, semester three and four, uh, students will undertake a dissertation in design innovation in their own organization. Uh, the purpose there is to apply the learning uh, through the other modules in their own organization and uh, implement a design innovation project. The masters will be delivered by a teaching team which have uh, experience both in, as academics and as practitioners. Design thinking uh, module will be delivered by uh, Rory Mooney uh, product and Service Development by Gabriel J. Costello, Research Methods by Martin Taggart. Uh, the team project will, be, will involve team teaching and both myself and Emer Cahill uh, will be involved in the delivery of that module. The individual dissertation, you will be assigned a supervisor uh, in the second year. Uh, The entry requirements, firstly, a level eight H22 degree. However, if you don't meet that requirement, you can apply under the RPL process recognition of prior learning, which will take into account your educational and practitioner experience. Next three years relevant experience, you'll have to submit a short CV, a personal statement, of why you're doing this course and what you hope to achieve from it. The fees for the course is uh, approximately 6,000 euro. Closing date is August 28, 2020, and the program running will depend on numbers and public health directives. In summary, there are national and international needs for skills in design and innovation. The program was designed for 
and in collaboration with industry and the service sectors, as well as public bodies such as the IDA. We were inspired by the Stanford D School's philosophy and to translate that into a West of Ireland context. It was developed by six departments across GMIT. It will have a very much a learning by doing approach and with the understanding that design becomes an innovation only when somebody is using it. The skills are widely applicable across multiple sectors, such as products, services and processes. And your teaching team will be made up of experienced practitioners. Uh, thank you for listening to this uh, presentation, this webinar. Another context that's important to realize is that GMIT, together with the Literary Kennedy Institute of Technology and the Institute of Technology Sligo, are working together currently uh, to create a technological university for the next northwest of Ireland. And we plan to have our application. Uh, to become a technological university submitted in autumn 2020. Professor Larry Leifer started the design thinking movement in Stanford maybe 40 years ago. Uh, recently I sent him a number of emails and he was very helpful I must say um, and he mentioned that he was eager to infiltrate the west of Ireland with design thinking. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at gabrielj.costello at gmit.ie.